Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Napex, and I'm here for a quick look into our pick review, should I say. Um, people might be wondering why Why would I, um, how to say this, review a pick. Well, I have here actually the uh, blue chip pick. Right? It's it's from, um, it's it says Engineered to Perform, made in Knoxville, Tennessee. So this is the blue chip pick. All right, I want you to focus. I hope you can focus. There you go, blue chip pick. And here's the pick, how it looks. That's the pick. All right, this is the uh, TD35 blue chip pick. And basically, it looks like a regular pick. It's, well, this one is gauge, uh, I think, 0.35. It comes with this nice box. There you go, it slips like this. Oops. And then, of course, this is a pick review. It means we have to compare it with other picks. So I have here as well a Jim Dun uh, Dunlop USA pick and a Fender pick. And they're, they're new, actually, quite new. And here is the pick. So what's special about this pick is first I came across this pick with, uh, when uh, I saw a post of John Mayer. And he said, I'm using this pick and uh, it's quite pricey and I'm not endorsing it, blah, 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 you know, with all these things. So I was so curious about it. So what I did was uh, I looked right here and I found it uh, in very, very few suppliers because this is made in USA and you can order it straight from the website, which is, what's the website? The website is um, M-G-O-I-N-S at Blue Chip pick.net you can check it out there so this is the TD35 and it's priced uh, actually what's fun is it's priced $35 USD or I got it here for 380 RMB alright and for 380 RMB that's like in peso Philippine peso it's like 2300 2400 pesos yes 2400 pesos for a pick but what makes it pricey I don't know it's made of some special material but and they say it lasts years just don't lose it all right so let's compare first here's what I noticed so I'm gonna I have a my handy dandy of course my slash oops did I just hit the guitar <gasps> no I'm kidding all right so I have my my slash um I call this that's Paul Victoria and my chair is squeaking, that's funny. Anyway, so, um, let me see. All right, so I have here, the guitar all plugged in, straight to the mic, of course. So let's first check out um, what I've noticed the main difference is how smooth it is. It says it's self-lubricating or something like that. So it's always smooth all year round, guaranteed. If you, it, I mean, if you don't like the pick, you can actually return it. They'll give your money back, which is pretty cool, right? So blue chip pick TD thirty five. Let's see. Um, first the smoothness, right? So if I go like it's active. So let's see. You, 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 I don't know if you can hear this, guys, but look. And then when I get the Jim Dunlop, I'm gonna just simply rub the. Do you hear that? How rough sounding it is. And then I'm gonna go grab a Fender pick. And where's the blue chip? You hear that? I'll get a Jin Dunlop. It's rough. I don't know. I don't know if you can hear the difference. I can't feel and uh, hear the difference. And then the blue chip pick. See that? <laughs> so, I think it's pretty much accurate that uh, it's smooth right so and the playability what I noticed is like I'm not a super professional I've, I've just been playing guitars for 20 something 23 years 25 years right but here's what I noticed is it's just smooth when you go through with the uh, you know in between strings it just feels it just feels so nice If I 
much sorry that Jim Dunlop. I mean, don't get me wrong. All picks are, it depends on what you like, but I was just curious about this $35 pick or 380 RMB pick or in peso 2,300 or 2,400 peso pick. What's the main difference? Well, I don't know, but for me, uh, well, if I'm going to use this for one year compared to using 200 pieces of these for one year, uh, I would go with the blue chip pick. That's my opinion. And they say it lasts years because I've seen others, they've been using it for years, like literally. So that's yet for me to confirm because I just bought this like a couple of, you know, uh, Last week, I think. It's the first time I actually tried it, like, right now. I mean, earlier, before this video. It's just smooth. Because it's smooth, it makes it feel like it's faster you know with the riffs and this one i'm struggling with this one it depends on the picks that i use to be honest when i do thunderstruck so it's just so smooth right i'm gonna try the jim dunlop this time no defender the blue chip pick they say it also makes this nice sound somehow it takes out that grip whatever Sounding. I guess for jazz plays it would be nice too. Let's see. And then this one's kind of bright. I don't know if you can hear this difference. Right. Let's go with the high notes with the. Uh, Blue chip pick, of course. Let's see. Um, Dunlop. Fender. Blue chip pick. Right, this, all this unnecessary sound just disappears. That's the blue chip pick, and from uh, the M Goins, I don't know, M G O I N S at blue chip pick dot net. That's where you, you can get this pick, All right? Blue chip pick, nice one. There you go, the TD 35.